Greetings, Internet, and welcome to Aaron Plays, and I hope you're doing fantastically well. This will be episode 11 of my playthrough of Mission 7 from Ambush the Core Game. And it's called, wait a minute, I go, wait, wait, bait for the trap. My squad's the bait for the trap. So what's happened so far? Well, we've gone to condition three. We have had a Yag Panther drive on, drive down the road. I've fired at it, I've bazooked it, um, and it just carried on driving and driving and exited the map. And we have some German infantry coming up, and I've had a haircut. Let's go back to the map. Oh, and if you remember to do the housekeeping, if you could like, subscribe, and comment, it all helps the channel, and it's all much appreciated. But as I said, let's go to the map, and then actually see what's going on. Okay, so we're about to start, as I said, this is episode 11, so it's round 11. Um, I've split my guys into two teams again, where rather than being concentrated on him on the road, yes, I've got anti-tank mines in this section. would have been brilliant if I placed one on the bridge, because the tank just drove literally straight down the road, across the bridge, and out the road. I was trying to be, I thought, they're not going to do that, so I placed them over here, which is the only other sort of clear hex they could have gone through. Yeah. <laughs> I was I know that you know that I know you that sort of thing. Yeah. Um subsequently I've redeployed because it seems like a lot of the German well, not a lot, all the remaining German infantry going this um northern route. Yeah, the map is reversed, and I think I have to deal with them. So I moved with the Jeep, my um Anderson's team across over to here. Uh, with four guys, and these guys remain just in case another tank decides to trundle down the road and, 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 and take the mickey. We're on condition three. I can end the scenario or the mission on when it's condition four. I'm currently at plus two victory points. I need five victory points to win. So let's get into it. The first thing we've got to do now is we're all fully aware. So don't have to worry about that. It's the random event. And here we go. Remember, um, well, no, it's not a percentage roll, so this is straight. You just add the two dice together, and that sticks. All right. So get the trusted paragraph thing out. Make just double check, make sure it's on condition three. It is, and random event six, which says S three six seven five. That could be an eight. I better change to my reading glasses. Computer glasses, reading glasses. It is an eight seven five. Let's put that in there. We haven't had S three yet. Eight seven five. Activate German 4 in hex D19. Commence so round German advantage. Right, well, we're already in round. In fact, we haven't come out of rounds. Um, so we do have sighting 3. Activate German 4 in hex D19. Let me go and get the counters and everything. Well, that's a Panzer 4. She's gained me two victory points, so I'm up to four now. Just one more required. Obviously, stopping the Germans getting off, and there he is, Instant D19, Panzer IV. Um, I, I was looking at the armor. That it's still going to be quite tricky for me to get through with um, the bazooka, but um, so it's worth two VP and plus three if I knock it out. So yeah. There's a winning ticket, if I can knock it out. But it's got a lot of infantry supporting it now, especially on the southern side. Does that mean he'll rush to the bridge, or will it cross the river? You remember, it can't go through the woods. So it can't go through any of these hexes. That's hence why I place the mines there, because there's only really, if you look all the way along this row here, across the stream, it's all woods, apart from the road here, and effectively, these three or four hexes. 
So hence why I placed those there. So I wish now I'd placed one on the bridge. But they would stop whinging. Stop whinging. Mm-hmm. Right. Anyway. Um, yeah, so that's the random event done. Oh, yeah, with the tank. Now, sighting-wise, we've still got 0, 1, and 8, and 9. Um, and we're on, on condition 3. So it's initiative. Okay, zero zero. If it's a tie, the Germans win. Okay, so the Germans have won the initiative, and we fill in the track. Zero is not good for for me. So anyway, the tank gets two activations. This German here will get two activations. My guys will get two activations. These guys get one. These guys get one. These guys will get one. And these two here. Yeah. That looks about right. Now, the ones I've got to look at are these guys. Make sure that they're okay because of that little red number there. But they should be. It says uh, E, F, and H. E, F, and H, where are all you boys? H, F, where's? All right, well, they're all within two hexes of um, Anderson, so they're okay. And Elliot, who's E, is in two hexes of Baker. So all okay from that perspective. Um, so, yeah, we will start. With the Germans, so they need to roll their activation number, and it's a three. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Right, and then this top row, N and Y. So we've got to do N first. Bring up his card with his activation number of three. He's doing paragraph eight two two. Where is the little, little guy? Nyman. It is Nyman, isn't it, now? Yeah, Nyman, Mr. N. There he is. Halfway across the three. Eight, three, two. For an active German in same or adjacent hex, there is. Crouch. He can't crouch. Because then he drowned. And give a turn to the German with the fewest turns in the same or adjacent hex. Hmm. Well, I'm going to ignore the word crouch. But and give a turn to the German with the fewest turns in the same or adjacent hex. There's only one. Well, no, he can't give it to this guy because he can never have more than one turn. So he's going to give it to... Weber, Weber, Weber. So that goes down to there. And then Weber gets an activation. Right. So let's see what Mr. Weber will do. And yes, I know I haven't moved the, the, the counter up, but anyway. So it's on three. He's doing paragraph eight six three. Right. If no active target in sight. Now that is a good question. Is an active target in sight? Oh, you can't see through brush anyway. Oh, good. Yeah. No active target in. That is a good question. The brush blocks the line of sight on the same level. That's upper level. Okay. I mean, if there was an embankment here, that would be blocked, but there isn't. If there was another brush here, sorry, here, 
it would be blocked because it would be on either side of that line. But same level. Ooh, I think they can see each other. So, if active target in sight and soldier occupies an open hex, the rumors classes no, streams class an open hex, move as quickly as possible, fall prone in first non-open hex entered. All right. I, I think they can see there. If, if you can't, let me know in the comments. But I think they can see each other because there's no embankment. So, N15 is where he's starting from. So where does he move to? O oh, fifteen, which is the brush hex there. So he goes there, and then, as it's said in, he goes prone because it's the first not open hex. Okay, so technically, what's happened there is he's gone up there, done the action, comes back, done. Okay. That leads us on to Y, which is the new tanky. It is down here. Mm. Right, let's see what it says here on his card, because he's got his first instruction, I think. No, enters open, cannot prepare. Cannon, cannon prepared, sorry, cannon not, cannon prepared on entry. When open, three crew members visible on first turn use 900. Use 900. Drive slowly. Fire cannon if active target in building hex or active US vehicle is in sight. Okay, so it's driving slowly. Panzer of four, how many moving points has that got? We really box hands of four. Slow moon. Well, I mean, only three. Okay. Starting in D nineteen. That says E nineteen. One. E nineteen. F-18, that's two, and F-18 to G-18, the three. All right, there's no of my guys occupying a building, so it doesn't fire its cannon, and just double check there's nothing else that 900 instruction gives. Drive slowly, fire cannon if active target in building or at US fitness vehicle. Prepare cannon if unable to fight. If cannon repaired and no cannon target is in sight, conduct snap fire with coaxial machine gun at second closest target. Okay. Conduct snap fire with bow machine gun at closest target. Right, so can he see up that hill? Where's my guy? Yeah, he's there. Just double check that. There's trees in the way, but are the trees still at the lower level? No, you can't see. Shoot, there's a that hex there. That's on the same level as that. So, yes, that blocks. Thank. Um, can you see anything across in my other team? No, that brush box there. But the building blocks that. Anything over here? No. 
<clears throat> I do. I, I need a cup of tea now. Yes, he's. Um, I've got to think of. <laughs> uh, yeah, got to be very careful about where that tank's going. Right. Okay. So that's him done. That brings my squad leader and my assistant into the foray. Right. So we've got Gibbs. And Gibbs is armed with a Garand. He can see. He can't see him because that'll go through that hex there. I reckon you can see him, but he can't see him because there's one hex directly behind cover. And again, I don't think you can see this guy. Because he goes, um, let's try that again. Is that German? Yeah, but it, it goes through this hex. So no. So he could shoot. And he can shoot the prone guy in the brush. So let's shoot the prone guy in the brush. So I've got to come up. So delete the prone. Go crouch. That's the free... Call it stance change. So this is Anderson giving him an action. Gibbs, yeah, he's got a plus one weapon skill. He's not too bad. Puts Gibbs up to the top. Gibbs's action is to then fire at the prone Weber. Okay, yeah, just verify. So with that shot, okay, let's bring up the fire tables and charts and such forth. Uh, yeah. Why where's the weapon? So there we go. Right, got the right table. So it's a five percent chance. Black is tens. 31, yeah, his weapon doesn't jam. Um, what was the range? <laughs> I did, it does tell me, and I didn't take it out. One, two, three, four, six, seven, seven hex range. Okay, so that is a medium range shot, so that's a four to hit. He is prone in the brush. And that's his mind to me. I'm sure that's where my charts differ, isn't it? Double check, bring up the real chart. Brush and prone is minus two. So that's minus two. Um, it takes the four down to a two. And then you've got a weapon skill of one. So I'll take it back up to three. Um, there's no snap, fire, straight aim shot three. Rolls a five. Can't think of any other way to get two. So that's a miss. Then we check ammo. 69, yeah, he's fine. He didn't so use up his ammo, but that's his action done. Okay, so that brings him down to there. Oops. Sorry, I should have been moved to there. He's now back down to there. All right. Then we've got Baker now. He's looking particularly vulnerable there now. Uh, he's crouching 
<clears throat> and brush is only minus one. So we could get Baker to fire, get him fire again. Or we could get him to fire and move into the woods, which is better cover. Or we could do a snap fire. Hmm. Okay. Let's. Yeah, let's do that again. Baker says, go on, Gibbs. Gibbs is thinking, can't you just send someone else over? Gibbs activate again. And this time he will snap fire. So he's going to move as well. And he's firing at the same target. So that's what we know. All right, so we've got to roll for a jam. Um, jam is still 5%. His weapon's in perfect working order. So we know that the uh, it's dropped now by two because it's a snap fire. So he needs a one or less. Medium range is four. Brush was two, takes it to three. Weapon skill four. This is two or less. Two or less. Come on. Come on. Come on, Gibbs. No worse. He then crouches to there and then goes prone. Oh, still got to check for his ammo. No, ammo's fine. Right. So that is Gibbs still. Hasn't used his own personal activation, but that's my two leaders giving them giving them the nod over the crest. Right. Oh, God, look at the amount of Germans we've got to do. Okay, so we've got to put these in alpha order. Okay, so what we got? Okay, so we've got Mr. L. Lehman, an old Lang. Sorry, Lang. He's the dude that's wounded. Okay. There's a new new line, so we've got to do a new German activation number, which is nine. Better mark that. German activation number nine. Okay. What's he going to do? On a nine. Eight, six, seven. Oh, he's only got half the movement points. Because he's wounded. Eight, six, seven. If no active target in sight, I've just made myself. Yeah, no active target in sight. Move as quickly as possible. Okay, he's currently standing. Fall prone. Right, so he's got two movement points and he's in M14. Ten fourteen. Okay, and that costs him two movement points, so that's him done. So we've got to find where the hell he is. There he is. Complete. Boom. Okay. After Lang, we have the actual squad leader himself, Nyman. And on a nine, he does eight, six, five. If no active target in sight, no, there isn't one. Move as quickly as possible. Full prone if an active target in sight. So he's in N14. Where does the little blighter go? N14. He goes to O15. So he joins his man there. Now is an active target in sight. Yes. Yes. 
Okay. So, you're not to target the site, move as quick as possible, fall prone if an active target in sight and free stance change available. He still has his free stance change available, so he now falls prone. Okay, so that's Nyman done. Brings him down there. Okay, next then. Is Quellman. Mr. Q. Where is Quellman? He's prone over over this area here. So with a nine, he does eight, six, seven. If no active target in sight. Uh No, it's going to go through that brush. So there's no active target so in sight. Move as quickly as possible. Fall prone if an active target becomes in sight. So he's in L17. It's got a paragraph number 067. Probably this will be an option if, if vehicle. 067. If vehicle, if soldier moving an active view soldier is in sight, no. If soldier moving and no active view soldier has got to M17. So he comes out of prone. No, I don't need to all delete prone. M17. That's one movement point. And it said move as quickly as possible. So M17. Goes to M sixteen two M sixteen goes into N fifteen that's four. Mm. Okay, that's Monsieur Q done. Where is he? Ah, yeah. rewind. He's only got three. He doesn't go into the river there. Okay. Right. Um. R. Eight six four. Where are he's he's over here in this wood hex here. Oh, eight six four. We don't have to target in sight. Uh. No, 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 there's no active target in sight. Move as quickly as possible, full pro if an active target in sight and free starts change available. He's, he is standing. So, where does he go? He's currently in 017. Go to P17, so he's moving. Moving through the woods. Now is there an active target in sight? Yes. What was the paragraph? 864. If no active target is right, ball prone, if an active target in sight and free starts change available. Yes, he goes to the ground there. That's prone. Boom. Hmm, so that's Richter. Okay, next up we have Trost. One of your members of the A, the A team. 
Mr. T. Right, Jay. Oh, no, I've got to check his paragraph first. Uh, 866. There's no active target in sight. Move as quickly as possible. Full point if an active target in sight and free start available. All right, he is standing. So, and he's in J11. Zero five eight. That's going to be a black vehicle. Oh no, it's not. If active U.S. soldier within three hexes of the bridge, there isn't. If no active U.S. soldier within three hexes of the bridge, enter hex K eleven. Oh, or please stay there. All right. So that will cost him two movement points. He has four in total. He's now in K11. He goes to L11. You bold as brass, aren't you? L11. And it's L11. He goes to M. Oh, I'm just going to have a saunter across the bridge. <laughs> 860. There's no one here. Okay, you get old Germans and you get bold Germans, but you don't get old, bold Germans. M12. Um, all right, sorry, I'm just double checking. 866. He doesn't do anything else, does he? Is he four prone now? Four prone if an active target in sight. Is there now an active target in sight? No. However, I just realised something. Um, I <laughs> I gave this guy another activation from Baker, and Baker was not here. He's over here. <laughs> That's a bit of a screw up, isn't it? Oh dear! I'm not going to go and re redo all of all of that. Um, he shouted very well. Darn it! Okay, I'm going to have to punish myself on that one. That was a bad mistake. Okay, so Gibbs has had both of his activations. He he. Yeah. And Baker loses the effect of working on his team. Sorry, guys. Error made. I, I got sort of like, yeah, I can do that. I can do that. Yeah, you know, it, it happens. I do apologize. Um, yeah, because it would be nice now to move Gibbs forward and shoot at the, the sauntering cross. And that's what I was thinking. I thought, wait a minute. Oh, oh dear. That is the, the, the slight problem when you play solo. You do make mistakes. There's no such thing as perfect pay. Anyway, Weber. Where is Mr. Weber? He's stacked with Nyman and he's prone at the moment. Um, and he's got a, a 800 instruction. Lie prone. There we go. That's that's him done. He's prone. He's staying prone. Okay. Right. Oh, we've done trust as well. So next we've got Zylander. Mr. X. Where is Mr. X? He's in, he's in M16. And what's he doing? Eight six six. If no active target in sight, no. Move as quickly as possible. Okay, so M sixteen. I think goes to N fifteen, but does not to check. It does. So that's two. So that does have four, and then N fifteen.
goes to O15. Um, does he fall pro? Eight six six. Fall prone. If an active target becomes in sight, it does. So he falls prone there. He had a free start strength of all. Hmm. Oh, for a guy within two hexes hidden with a grenade or a satchel charge. Boom. Right. Okay. Well, that's Zalander. And then we go over to the Panzer IV. All right. Activation number of nine. He does 900 again. So he's moving slow. You know that part. Fire cannon of active target in building hex or an active US vehicle in sight. So he drives slowly. All right, so he's in G18. Three movement points. Goes to H17. I'm assuming that is only one. That's a cover hex. Oh, it's two for a vehicle. That's two, and then I um, H seventeen. He goes to I eighteen. Oh, it changes coming up. Uh, rotate clockwise. I eighteen to there. Interesting. Okay, so has he got anyone in line of sight at that point? Cover, cover, brush. The answer is no. All right, that's him done. Yeah, he's only got three in it. That Cover hex cost him two. Right, okay. What are we going to do now? Oh, dear. We've got the bar here. Who can he actually see? So he can't see them. He can't see them. I'm thinking of coming to engage this guy. He's just sauntering down down the road. Okay. All right. Anderson will use his activation to give Gibbs another go Gibbs comes out of prone so that's free stance I will do a snapshot and move so he moves there and snapshots down to here okay so that is looks like range seven Straight down the road, straight eight, 
Okay. So it's a medium range shot. But first of all, we've got to determine if his weapon jams. And it's a snap fire. 11. Double check that. I think it's snap fire. Semi auto. Zero five. So he's fine. So the shot goes off. So it's a basic to hit. Medium range is a four. Okay. The guy is standing in the clear. Makes it a five. Weapon skill makes it a six. But it's a snapshot. So it takes it down to four. Gibbs could hit a bloody barn door. That's three shots he's done. He's missed all three. 75. Well done, Gibbs. And he doesn't have a free starts change available, so he's sitting there crouching. But the shot has rung out and Thrust is going. That's his das. Okay. Right, okay. So, Baker will activate Denton with the Browning. Three stars change. I don't want to be involved in a firefight, but I've got to take some of these guys out. Until I get to condition four, I don't want them just swamping me. So, properties, he will stand from the from the um, prone. He will then go two, four to there. Or he could have gone, actually a better move. One, two, four to there. Okay. So that's his move given to him by Baker. Then he will activate himself and will fire at the adjacent trust. Um, and this is not a sat fire, it's going to be a normal fire. So we're looking at semi-automatic rifle here. Jam. Naught eight. Woo! Good job I declared it wasn't a snap bar because that would have jammed if it was, but it isn't. Okay. So he's adjacent, which means it's a six to hit. Frost. Six. Uh, Denton has a plus one. That makes it seven and there's no in fact he's standing on a bridge plus one makes that an eight an eight to hit come on then seven just made it so it's a hit okay then the effect high is good a nine that i believe is a kill Double check. So, yeah, nine. Sorry, on the automatic rifle would have been a kill from a seven onwards. Boom, 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 boom. So, crossed. Thank you for your participation. You <laughs> shouldn't go sauntering down a bridge. Like, really? can you imagine with his rifle slung over his shoulder? Like, yeah, yeah, there's nothing here, nothing here. Ooh, there is. Okay. Kill an action on the bridge. Denton then, as his last action, will then go prone. Because he has a free stance in that activity there. Okay. So, who we got left? Because Baker's done. Anderson's done. All right. Gibbs is done now as well, isn't he? I oh, know he's... Yeah, because give me forward and miss his shot. As I say, Crouch should move him down. Right, Clint with the bazooka. 
Now, what's the maximum range of a bazooka? Nine to fourteen. Hmm. Oh, if I could win initiative next turn, I could go one, two, three to here. Okay. Speak the prone. He stands up. Move through the cover. One, two, three, four. Can't do a stance change, but that's him done. And who knows, I could win an initiative next turn. Stranger things have happened. Okay. So now we've got Elliot, Falcon, I can't remember the other, Falconer, and Hanson. Crossing that crest. Oh, means they basically move one hex. And they are still in the Jeep. So it costs them a movement point to get out of the Jeep for one. Hansen has bought four now, yes. Cross the crest for two, into the brush, four, free stance, prone. Faulkner, the driver, he will do the same. Prone. And Anderson, well, he's already done, isn't he? So... Hanson and Falkland. I just leave good old Mr. Elliot, who's prone over here. Yep. Two. That was his three stars. Hmm. No. I don't want to be exposed. Let's go back there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. And that's it. That's them all done. So I've been suckered back into a firefight. I've got to stop them. I'm certainly at condition three. Um, taken trust out of the equation, which is useful. But there's still a lot of them. I mean, Tross had to be punished, couldn't it? You can't just sort it down a road. Um, anywho, that's the action for this turn. Let's bring this back up to the top. Yeah, walk with me rifle over. Yeah, nothing going on here. Yeah, boom, boom, boom. Um, but yeah, that brings me now into a firefight. Uh, hopefully. Oh, with the initiative in round 12. But we shall see that in the next video. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, yeah, that little mistake. Oh, I hate making like those kind of mistakes, but it had gone too far to... I didn't really, really want to do the whole of the German move again. So um, taking Gibbs' action away and Baker not getting an advantage of moving one of his guys over there, I think was suitable punishment. Pay attention. Anyway. If you could do the housekeeping, you know, the like, subscribe and comments, all appreciated, all helps the channel. But until next time, play games, have fun, bye internet.